page 68, Melody. Some beautiful melody by Massonet. It's a nice arrangement of it. Got some things where you look at it and think, oh, good Lord, what's going on here? Yeah. But let's just break it down carefully. Two four time, it's got one sharp, G major or E minor, which is it? Well, it's an E minor. So make sure you can do the scales for G major and E minor. Four octaves, up and down. Parallel motion, contrary motion, the whole bit. Do the advanced part of it. I'm going to kind of take both hands together because of the rhythm. Because they're doing this. Now, if you look at the right hand by itself, you're playing on the, the upbeats. So the one E and a two E and a. One E and a two E and a. One E and a two E and a. And needless to say, it's a very slow piece. Lento is a very slow. Monotropo means not too slow. <laughs> slow but not too slow. Well, in 2 4 time, it's 1 2. 1 2. 1 and 2 and 1 E and a 2 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 1 E and a. So I'm going to take both hands together. I will forget the speed for a little, let's just take it here. It's at the beginning, you're here. The melody's in the left hand. And both notes, both hands want this key. I'll talk about that a little more a little bit later. So you can't connect. We want to hear this rest. the fingering, second line two, then a one, and again, watch the notes, you may not be what you think they are, so forth, let's go down the last line here. There's, there's a 32nd note in there. 32nd note, well, it's just half of a 16th note. Just play it in between. So then the question is, in the next to the last measure at the bottom on page 68, in the right hand, you have here, and then you have an E flat, F sharp, and then later on, have a D sharp, F sharp. The same notes on the piano. So why didn't they use both? Why didn't they notate them the same? The answer has to do with harmony and music theory and chord progressions and what chords you're using. I ain't going to get into it. Maybe it's an error for all I know. I don't know. But they both of those are the same notes on the piano. So if you're not able to know why they did that, you'll have to ask somebody who's a lot more knowledgeable than me. I don't know. So, on page 69, at the top, you're here. Again, we want to hear the rest. Then we're back to our original thing. It's rather repetitious. Let's go down to the third line on page 69, because it gets a little tricky in here. Eighth rest there. You want we want silence in the left hand. Then the last measure. See now we have an echo in the top. There's a rest there, but otherwise you connect it. And, and while you're doing this, uh, isn't that fun? Measure, this is the third line down, last measure. And the left hand crosses over, it's quarter or treble clef. And then Itself, and then these 32nd notes 
It says molto più lento here. Forget the acapriccio thingy. It's multi it's all a whole lot more slower. Whatever. More lento. And don't worry about 30 second notes. You're just gonna play them very slowly. One so the fingering here. Cross over. Fourth finger on the G. Here. And that's just an eighth note. Now we go back, once we have kind of got the notes and the rhythms worked out, let's see what we can do with this articulation and the dynamics. The moderately loud applies to the melody that's here. And this is a portato, or a portamento, different words mean the same thing. Just separate the notes. Now that's so here. Phrasing in the left hand, practice the left hand by itself if you need to. In the right hand, you just just separate them. It's portato all the way through. See, I can't connect this and here. I'm, I'm using the same note. You come down a little bit. Moderately soft. Come back up to moderately loud. Again, for, keep the right hand soft. Just keep the right hand out of the way. It's the left hand we're listening for. Soft. Soft. Just roll up there and then come back down. There's an accent, a gentle accent, because you're soft here. So I mean, the acti accents are relative to the volume you're already on. So you're not going to play a loud note in there. It's just give a little extra stress. So it's now here. It's automato. It means speed it up a little bit. Animated. to our theme we were at the beginning. And the all tempo means your regular speed. So at the end of the line you go down to about a moderately soft to soft. The next line, second measure, you start crescendoing up. And the third line, you're soft here. Now here, they got two neutrals on these in the right hand. Connect them. Play them as legato as you can. And then they went back to the portato at the end. So your third line, tricky. You're at sort of a moderately loud here. And now you're soft. And this, all this is, well actually it's to both hands here. And the retenuto re there means slow down. It's like a retardando. Very soft too. And then all of a sudden, all tempo and loud again. Really, it's this. That's loud. The other stuff has to stay under it. And you see the Above the staff there, this is the last two lines at the bottom. Above the staff you have, you're coming down. Here, the left hand you're just loud. And then you have that swell. Each of these you get a little louder. Here, that's loud. That G. And then you come down. So that the dynamics in the different hands are different here. So you have to watch out. So the left hand might be dying away a little bit, but the right hand is getting louder here, again. And you 
coming down. The pulento means a little slower. It's like an afterthought, and then very slowly. It's an interpretation. You've got to get to know it and be comfortable enough with it. You feel these dynamics. You don't force them like I'm doing. You feel them. And we can add the pedal just to help us out on occasion. For the most part, you don't want pedal on this at all until you get to the end. But it'll help us out with some of the coloring in it. So at the beginning, we're helping us out because both hands want the same note. That's all. Otherwise, we wouldn't pedal it at all. So it's here. In the second line, the first measure, we're just adding color. So be very careful on this pedal. Don't pedal everything. People tend to just pedal it all. Please don't. Don't use pedal on except for where they have it marked and just where they have it marked. Now, at, when you get over to page 69, third line down, and the last measure you hear, you're, you're adding color to this note. That's really all you're doing there is, is kind of. You can go ahead and put it. I don't know why they're pedaling all of this, but they are. So go ahead. Kind of running it together. And then lift up. And the pedal goes all the way to the end of the fermata. And your fermata is, it just means it's a fermata. So at the end, again. You're, you're not pushing any keys down, so just slowly lift the pedal up. Slowly let the sound, the dampers just slowly touch the strings and the sound dies away. If you're getting a buzzing sound or something, you may need your technician to look at your dampers. The felts may be getting hard or something, because you should not get a buzzing anywhere. It should just die away. 